types of databases. This lesson will teach the different types of databases to us. Before entering into this lesson, we must know how the databases are classified into different types. Databases are classified into different types according to the organizational approach. This means there are different ways to store the data. Here are the different types of databases. They are the flat file based data model, the hierarchical data model, and the network data model. First, we will learn about the flat file database model. In this database model, data is stored in numerous files similar to Office. However, in this model, the files are not linked, so data might be repeated in more than one file. The main problem with this database model is redundancy. Due to this problem, the model is not widely used. The next type is the hierarchical database model. This database model was created to overcome the problem created by the file-based data model. In this model, a series of databases are grouped together to assemble a family tree. In this family tree, each box in the tree represents one database. In this tree, the top database is called the parent database. The databases below the parent database are called the child databases. In this model, one parent can have many children, but a child can have only one parent. The child databases are all connected to the parent database via links called pointers. The main problem with this database is that the search for data is extremely difficult. To find a particular piece of data in this database takes a lot of time, so this model has failed. The Network Database Model The Network Database Model was designed to reduce the problem caused by the hierarchical data model. Unlike the hierarchical database model, this model allows more links between the child databases. It was created not only to reduce the chance of redundant data, but also to make searching for data much easier. As shown in this figure of the network model, a child database can have more than one parent. This model also has some problems, the main problem being that you need to be a database expert to use this database successfully. It is very difficult for the general public to use network databases for real-life applications. In this lesson, we have discussed some basic types of databases. There are many other database models available, and we will see some of them in upcoming lessons. You can find more information about this from this reference.